You know, something very close. Oh, I did see your legs. Oh. So, this is my exit interview. We'll exit see, we'll, interview? We'll call it the exit interview. That's when you get fired from a place. Okay, um... <laughs> We'll call it my, I just left my admissions day and I went all day with my sticker on my shirt saying that I had been at the optometry school and allowed everybody to know who I was everywhere I went. So I finally took it off because I was oblivious that I'd been wearing it all day. So we haven't done one of these in a while. I thought that I would do one. Now, how do you feel about I loved Indiana it. University. I loved it. So I haven't updated you guys. If you're seeing this video, then it means that I got in. Um, I haven't updated in a while because I think the last that I told everybody was that I was going to go to medical school. But I did a lot of soul searching and I really decided that optometry is a better fit for me because... Emerson had a lot of visual issues, and the thing that really brought quality back to his life was maintaining his vision. And so, I started researching optometry schools and doing shadowing, and I just decided that um, it fit my goals better, and it fits the lifestyle that I want. I think they talked a lot about that today, about... Um, the optometrists have a better quality of life than a, -life a than a medical doctor. So you're still a doctor as an optometrist. Um, it's just a different kind. So I will come out as an like a primary eye care physician. Um, so it's like they cram the first year of medical school in where you have like anatomy and. Um, like the same things that you would do sort of in medical school and then you just specialize into the eye like immediately into the eye so they have optics like right away and stuff like that but um, so today I had uh, my interview with Indiana University Indiana University I'm like looking at myself like whoa look at this, this is a weird angle and the lighting is kind of weird but so I, I feel good about it like overall I felt like it was good things. Um, I'm kind of worried about the debt situation that you have to go into for school. And I won't lie, I think everybody worries about that. But Yeah, that's a nice school. But then, you know, any professional school is going to cost to go to. You want to be a doctor, you get paid more as a doctor. And so, therefore, the school costs more. So, I left with really good feelings, though. Um... The admissions day was really neat. We got to see the whole entire campus. Like, the Indiana University is a huge campus. Everything's made out of limestone. It feels like Hogwarts, sort of. Mm -hmm. um, and then the optometry school is kind of off, like, to the back end. But I loved it. I loved everything about it. Um, I love that they allow laser surgery that their scope of law in Indiana is very broad so they can do um, lasers lumps and bumps as they called it mm -hmm. so you can do like minor um, surgeries I guess you could say and I just I really think that the program offers everything that I want the biggest thing is the support <clears throat> Yeah, I felt like they were really family centric uh, with the support. They made that, um, they made that a priority, or they make that a priority. I feel, and they fed us a good meal. They did. So they that, fed us, and the dessert bar was awesome. <clears throat> like I was really surprised that they were like fancy little dessert. I couldn't even take a picture though because they had us sitting with the professors at lunch, and so I felt like I just couldn't, <laughs> even though I video and take pictures of everything in my life I felt like I couldn't um it's almost like a sacred event so but I got to meet several professors some students um got to see the entire campus like I said that all seemed to be happy there wasn't a lot of doom and gloom like we did some med school interviews I went to some yeah did. I did and it it uh uh I think 
the world since COVID has really changed the medical community and I just think it's a becoming a doctor right now is a like a pivotal thing I'm not saying that people shouldn't I'm just saying that the goals that I want for my life so that's to give back in Emerson's honor as the number one goal secondary goal um, is to have a happy quality of life and you know for my family to feel like I make enough money to take care of them and for me to feel secure and also at the end of the day you know I don't want to go home and have to take my work home with me and that's just the the bottom line is that you um, don't have that luxury when you're a doctor like you take your work home like when you're a medical doctor I say doctor I'm going to be a doctor it's just a different kind of doctor but it's like I feel like doctors are super stressed medical doctors are stressed and it's really a really bad climate right now to go into everything since COVID mm -hmm. um, people are stressed they're overworked they're underpaid um, even I think the doctors feel like they're overworked and it just feels like the right thing for me to do so and in four years I can do a residency if I want to I'm really interested in neuro optometry um, I do think I would enjoy ocular disease because I like stuff with the retina also think I would love pediatrics and low vision so I'm, I don't know where I'm going to end up at the end of this. There's a lot of different routes that I could take, whether I go straight to work or whether I just um, go into residency or, you know, I'm, I'm seriously considering research at this point, too. And they have a, uh, a master's in vision science and they also offer a Ph.D., so... I just feel like there's a lot of options for me and I feel like this feels good and solid and whole and also safe in a way but like I don't know all of the um, doctors that I've interned with this year and last year were really positive about their career and um, I had two new doctors that I shouted with that told me their salary and it's better than I thought it was. Mm -hmm. um, it's way better than I thought it was. Apparently there's a deficit of eye doctors. So it's projected to only get better. So all of those things make me feel like this is, this is the right way to go. Not that money is everything, but it does... Well, when the school, Help when the to think we are going through yeah. all the school. The school costs so much, and um, the time investment and mm -hmm. taking time out of my life to do this. Uh, you hope that there's a return on the investment of your time, especially since time is our most precious commodity. I don't know. Did you leave with good feels? I did. I, did. I, I left, left with, with really good feels. Left with really good feels. Um, mm -hmm. I still feel like UAB would be good because I would be closer to home but this school's solid like I cannot say anything bad about it I literally can't say it. the only bad thing is is it's five and a half hours away from us and I well, feel like even that's home may have to move closer to you too so there's always that we'll make it happen whatever needs to happen so, if you're seeing this video, if you sat through all of this 10 minutes worth of me rambling, um, that's my update. I've kind of been quiet about updating until I was 100% sure this was really the direction I wanted to go. Um, withdrawing everything from my med school was a hard decision. It felt kind of sad in a little bit of a way, but at the same time... Uh, the closer I got to actually going to school for that and down that path, the more uneasy I got about it. Because I don't want, I love to travel. I don't want my life to be over. I don't want to have to spend the next 12 years locked in 
to a program and then get out because at, at the end of the day it's a job and I think that's something that the last year and a half working for a lab has really done for me like a job is a job whether you're you know a controller or um, a court reporter or a biochemist or a teacher or whatever like at the end of the day your job is your job and if I became a doctor medical doctor or an eye doctor or a dentist or a pharmacist or whatever like at the end of the day it's not me it's not my identity altogether it's still just a career which is a portion of me and I don't want to give the next 15 years of my life to an institution that I don't necessarily think is headed in the right direction. And that, that's all I'm going to say really about that because I don't want to talk bad about it. Um, medical professionals are very much needed. I just think that it's not, it's not the climate that I want to work in. You know... At, at this point, I don't want to spend the next 30 years of my life working somewhere that's I'm going to be miserable. So, uh, now we're up to almost 12 minutes. But if you made it through this, this is, this is me and this is where I am now. And this is what I'm doing. And if you're seeing this video, then I did get accepted. And I'm going to optometry school. <laughs>